Guys, we're live with Scott Watson of, say your team name. Oh my goodness, big team Emerald All Stars. Boom. Yeah, boom, Ireland. Most. Am I on camera? Yep. Oh my goodness me. No, don't, don't my hat go, no? Nope, you're good. Okay. okay. are so um if you guys have questions too drop them below so he can answer them as we're going um maybe your husband isn't as involved or you want to join but um i better not get too deep here but you want to join uh and your husband maybe isn't too supportive yet or you're thinking about how can you do it with your husband um so drop your questions below first i'm going to start off by asking um, how did you kind of take a role in the business on your own? What got you involved? Okay, well, no, I had my own business before Sensing, which was, um, I used to run events and evening events, murder mysteries, um, trade shows. I used to work 16-hour days, and it got to a time where things were really tough for my business. So I was doing 16-hour days, and I was piling on the pounds, you know, picking up junk food. And I normally like to keep myself fit and trim. But, you know, stress got to me. So, and eventually my business went out of business. So, Alexandra says, um, you need to jump on board and, you know, just chill out with this business because it's not stressful. And I can honestly say, that is one of the main reasons I do this business. I don't get stressed. Okay, I've been in the States for two weeks, so I've got a bit of puppy fat on me now, but I've lost, I'm a, in a lot healthier shape. My blood pressure's not as high. Um, I'm pretty more chilled out. And I get to work when I want to work. I get to do what I want to do. I get to travel the world. So really, like men, people go, oh, it's candles and it's wax and warmers. I'm six foot eight. I used to play rugby for a living. And seriously, if you have that attitude, you ain't going to go very far in life, okay? Right. So just because it's wax and warmers, it doesn't mean because you're male that, you know, it's going to mess with your man pride. You can't let it happen because, you know, it's done so many things for our life. Right. You know, and I'm very grateful for our awesome business. So those guys can kind of continue working their nine to five and... <laughs> Hit. And have their man pride. Right, and have their man pride, but... And come, a, come home with their same check every single month and not progressing in life. Right, right. Um, one question Sabrina dropped here is your best get out of comfort zone tip. My best get out of your comfort zone tip is when you're staring at something which you want to get out of your comfort zone. So just say you got to go and speak to someone about joining or you got to approach someone about a party. you got to think in your head, you know. If this person says no, am I going to die? <laughs> will I still be here tomorrow? Right. And you will be. So that's what I always think when I got to step out of my comfort zone. Am I going to die? Is it going to kill me? And no. So you just get on with it. Right. The rejection, it doesn't kill you. It makes you stronger. Right. So just get on with it. Do it. Get out of your comfort zone. And you're not going to die. You're actually going to progress. Exactly. So what would you say to a guy that has seen, you know, what's possible with Sensi, but is kind of holding himself back on joining? If he... Just join. Oh my goodness me, it's what, 40, 59 Canadian dollars, 109 Canadian dollars. That's like, you know, okay, I've been in Canada, that's like Alex 10, 10, joining us. 10 pints of beer. <laughs> Come to distract me, I'm trying to think here. That's like, that's like a night out on the beer, uh, you know, a dinner out with friends. Right. It's nothing, you know, right. just take the risk and... $109, and if I'm absolutely honest, what is it, 119 119 regular you know, half you, price this if month. If you work your business correctly in the first 15 days, and if you're under cast or under anyone in a team, you will have that money back within the first week, no problem. Right. <laughs> yeah, Scott's tagged in this too, so also. Oh, yeah, also on the roads, of course. Right, right, of course. We never and, a Canadian yet. Yes, we're still oh, looking for a Canadian. <laughs> for... Alexandra can't stand me doing a video on my own. She has to come in the background. <laughs> Um, so another question I had, I have a lot of guy friends that say, well, uh, I would join, but I don't have a girl to do it. I would be doing it on my own. I don't know how to sell. I am a guy, you know, that's a girl thing. Oh my goodness what me. has, you know, besides seeing your paychecks go up every month. And of course, you know, we've seen what the business has been able to do for so many without, uh, getting ourselves in trouble with income. We know that is created, you know, a substantial amount of lifestyle freedom for us and you guys. What would you say, I guess, to a guy that maybe works a nine to five and isn't sure he can do it without having, you know, a wife or a girl involved in it? Do you want me to be absolutely honest? Yes. I, I run this business with Alexandra, but we work it totally differently. So I have my side of the business and I do my thing and she does her thing. So if Alexandra was to disappear off the earth, which I hope she doesn't, this is just an example, 
You know, I would be able to run this business because I know the ins and outs. So it doesn't matter if you're male or female. It's all about your passion. It's all about, you know, what goals you want to achieve in life. And I'll tell you a little story. When we first, we were sat down with our accountant, where, with my old business, and we said to him, we're about to start a direct sales business. And he looked at us like this, and I'm like, oh, here we go. It's a pyramid scheme. It's this, it's that. But he actually said to us, you do know, guys, that direct sales is a very powerful business model, and you guys will earn a lot of income over the next 10 years if you stick at it. So my tip is awesome. it's a female product. Um, guys, it's not a female product. I love the products. It's a male product, too. So you just got to get out of that mindset of it's just a female product. Right. You just got to get out there. Like you gotta since, make it happen. Since when does a male not want his house to smell amazing? Yeah. Exactly. Since when? Yeah, bachelor's right. pad. If you have a bachelor's pad, you know, you want it to smell good. You know, we put on aftershave. We put on deodorant. Right. Why don't we want to put like aftershave and deodorant in our house? Right. Through a Sensi diffuser or Sensi warmer. So seriously, guys, and I'm gonna say this: you gotta man up and you gotta join if you want to be. You know, if it's too big and too strong for you, you know. That's fine. You just keep working nine to five, but you know there'd be lo lots of other men who take the leap and just get on with it and do it. Right, exactly. Um, another thing I hear a lot of is um, guys when they are even starting, they're starting with their women, and they kind of find it hard to get their own type of, I guess, individually, like being themselves in it within it. Like, how did you notice? This is what I'm going to do. This is how I'm going to do it. Was there a certain part in your guys' business that you just took? you know, full control of recruiting or whatever it was? Uh, well, if I'm absolutely honest with you, beforehand, um, we had a lot of friends in the direct sales uh, who were very successful in direct sales. Whoops. So we kind of learned a lot off them. I mean, Alex and Zandra, if we're absolutely honest, with the type of people went, it's a pyramid scheme. Right. It's a multi-level I said, system. I didn't want to be a catalog seller. Yeah, that's, yep. that's exactly what we were. But we knew from their success the power of direct sales. So we really didn't come into the business with, this is your job, Scott. And this is our job. We really came, and oh thanks, goodness, and thanks to Alexandra, we um, we came into the business with a view that we could both be strong at individual things and a collective as well. So, right. And now oh, it, it's yeah. kind of formed. I have my role, and she has her role, cool. and it works very well. What has, if anything, changed your thinking in this last week with being with two leaders of the business who have been with Sensi for 11 years? What has changed, if anything, your thoughts on where you'll be in the next coming years? Well, to be quite honest, I remember, and I'm being absolutely honest now, I'm not doing this all on with Rick and Dorothy, so I've got to, you know, kiss, <laughs> kiss them up a bit. We first met Rick and Dorothy in Vegas five years ago, and they kind of like really got, I was just the passenger then, if I'm absolutely honest. And when I met these guys in Vegas, they kind of sort of showed me the way of what could be done. And if I'm absolutely honest, all what's happened this week is that fire's been re ignited right. from five years ago and I can, I just basically, I can, I knew, I've always had the belief in the business and I've always had that, but it's reunited me of what actually this business can actually do for you. Right. And being, you guys are on the go quite a bit from Ireland to Australia to New Zealand and now moving to Spain. Yeah, I can't wait. So, so the fact that you can just pick up and literally live anywhere in the world in this last week, you've been to Canada. You, Utah, Boise, Idaho, you know, all ends before you came, where were you guys? Before we came, we were in Ireland, New Zealand, Australia, where else have been this year? Singapore, all over Spain, France, Turkey. Right. My daughter's two and a half and she's been on 75 different airplanes. Amazing. So, probably more now, actually. Right. So, yeah, but that is us. That You know, people might go, all right, I don't want to travel that much. You don't have to travel that much. If you like fast cars, you can buy fast cars. If you like big houses, you can buy big houses. You can do what you like. Right. But that is our passion, and we've managed to do that with our sense of business because we kind of, you know, we're not going to be here in 100 years' time, so we need to make as many experiences, different cultures as possible. So that's right. our goal. So do most of your customers head over to your website, or are some of them... Um, wait for you to get back home, or how do you multi-manage that with being well, on the go? If I'm absolutely honest, Alexandra uses the um, use the deals of all the customers. Hello. And she keeps talking <laughs> in the background because she wants to have attention on the video. Okay. I need attention. Thank you. <laughs> so um, she deals with all the customer side of things, but yeah, we get Alexandra would drop borrow bags if we're going them for a short period of time and pick them up Sweet. at the end of our journey. But for instance, we were in Australia, New Zealand. So your best customers are your current customers. So what she did for our three months while we're away was work, work her current customer base, top them up, 
so then they end up joining up most of them so that's what she did while we right. were away for three that's months that's kind of what i find us trying to work on now a lot of our customers say when will you be back in town um when you know we want to place an order when will we be able to get it and that's kind of the where we'll be at this fall leaving this fall winter for the course of the winter to mexico they're going to really have to add the order before we leave or join or we'll have to or pass you can them do off. some great offers while you're away and you know right. help reduce shipping or help you know i'm not right. gonna, i'm not allowed to advertise any special offer so I'm not going to say anything right. but there's lots of things you can do and basically our sales when we were away in New Zealand and Australia they went through the roof most of them ended up joining in August so now we've got to restart our customer base again right. which is absolutely fine but you um, know. Sabrina asked do you go door to door and leave brochures oh my goodness me no. we have no problem going door to door but we don't we haven't been door to door for quite a long time I will be in Spain yeah we will be in Spain but yep. no, that's the same for us. With us being out in Amherstburg, we have been literally reaching out to people. But before that, when we were in um, Essex, we may have did it here or there, but not um, as frequently as we should have been. Gemma asks, how long have you been a Sensi man? How long have I officially? I've been a Sensi man for three years. But we, Alexander joined five years ago. So officially okay. three years. So what, what was your on switch? Realizing that you guys could start doubling up your income or what was the... My own switch to jump on board. Yes. It was basically, oh my goodness me, Alexandra wasn't getting stressed and I was with my other business. So, you know, stress-free lifestyle, um, the chance to really... Build Rocky's food. giving you some kisses. I thought that was Alexandra. <laughs> <laughs> the chance to travel, tr chance to build a real good family legacy business and, you know, right. just chill out. And looking to other leaders too to be inspired. I know that's for us. Yeah, yeah has been my biggest motivation to see where this business can And this is the best thing. You. best thing about this business is in our other business, we were on our own. So, you know, we had no mentors. We had no one guiding right. us or anything like that. We weren't part of a massive network. So with this business, you know, you get network of people to help you out. You get people outside your team to help you out. Just think none of us would have even met each other. Exactly. And if, and if I was doing a business on my own, I wouldn't be able to get inspiration oh. off you and you wouldn't be able to do the same off us. Right. So it's kind of... It's a real. I think the we biggest didn't have best. Any friends before the... <laughs> I had lots of friends. It was Alexander who didn't have any friends. Uh, we didn't know anybody in any other countries, really, though, did we? I right. Mean, we knew a few through rugby. How would right? we have ever met two people from Ireland and two people from Utah? Yeah, it just exactly. really wouldn't have happened, right? So I think our biggest. Even though Alexander has a very good friend from Utah at the minute. I do. Oh, awesome. Leslie, le the man, the guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll um, go into that one. Another sensey man. I do have other Mormon customers as well, like my friend Chaya from Holland as well. Hi Chaya! Awesome. She's watching. So, well, yeah. for us, cool. I think the best thing we could have gotten out of Sensi, besides the financial um, aspect, is the friends. I We've know. made some of the best friends. Oh my goodness me! We got hundreds of people we have met I that we never would have known. Leadership in New York, and we got to pick jackets. We're getting jackets. We're going to see a Broadway musical. Um, we get a day off to play. We're going to hear Mel Robbins speak, and I'm going to hang with my besties. And I'm hoping Dorothy and Rick are going to come. We'll and we are already planning, um, besides they're leaving to Spain soon and we'll be leaving to Mexico at the end of November, we're already planning January leadership is going to be in New York, which we may not make it, but they will be extending in San Francisco, which, or hopefully we're going to get that sorted soon, which we, or Florida, which we will be joining them. And we may even come back again to Utah to see the mountains oh, um, snow and to go snowmobiling because snow these two mentioned. Yeah, that we need to do like some snowmobiling. Like. Yeah. Hey. So you guys, I'm not the only one living this lifestyle. I'm. Let me. Oh, I I'm obviously one of. Yeah. Let Scott have some fun in the pool now. I'm obviously. We are obviously two of hundreds of people that are able to live this lifestyle because we stepped out the comfort zone. We joined. We um, didn't let fear hold us back. Ali's over here chilling. I don't know if you can see him. He's singing. Oh. Okay, he's on his phone. Um, we uh, we honestly are not the only ones that are doing it. Besides people on both of our teams that are working to get to these levels, we started out as brand new consultants and worked our way up. And the way I look at it now, any amount of pay was better than no pay at all. Um, had I not joined, I don't know where we would have been, but I do know that I would have missed out on a tr tons of travel, tons of new friendships, being home with my children, um, just even the freedom period that we have gotten from this and um, the connections we've built. I'd love to meet you all soon in London. Yes, Gemma, London is on my bucket list actually. 
We are working, we are building a team right now in London. One of my leaders um, in UK has a team of around 60 now, and we did promise her that if she had doubled up from her 40 by the end of the year that we would come, whether it be the end of this year or the beginning of next. So UK is on my bucket list, definitely going to be get, getting there before 2017 is over. So I'd love to link up Gemma and do some um, live trainings and whatnot too with you and anybody else that's in the UK. I, I'm dying to meet many of my team members that are there I have not even met. So I would absolutely love, probably cry to meet them.